Reporting. In this session, I'll be showing you how to access report data through your back office. This demo will last approximately 20 minutes. Business reports show various information to help guide important business decisions and also view trends. To view your business data and reports, select reporting on the left hand side of your dashboard. Your dashboard will now appear on the main screen. The dashboard shows information in a graph format and we'll go through this example now. You can edit the location information and time frame using the drop down boxes. Here we've set it to the last 14 days, but you can customize this if you want to. You can also view it in month, week, day or hourly. We'll go through some of the examples on this dashboard. Here we are showing sales versus transactions. Net sales data is shown in blue. Transaction quantity is shown in orange. By hovering over the pinpoints, you can view more specific information. If we scroll down, we can select a new graph. This is shown as a pie chart. And here I've selected transaction totals by staff type. We've also got total sales, total transactions, low stock items, and operating margins. We can also view sales by tender and employee, also transactions by location and customer data. This is the default dashboard. However, you can create your own. You may wish to have a dashboard specifically dedicated to stock or customer data. To create your own dashboard, under the dashboard tab, select add dashboard. We can now give this a name. I'm going to create a dashboard for stock information. We can now enter all of our drop down boxes with the information we wish to view. I'm going to pick best sellers, worst sellers, purchase orders, and stock discrepancies. This dashboard is now dedicated to stock. Once we're happy, we can press save, and the information will now appear on this dashboard. You can have your dashboards emailed to you by default. Maybe at the end of each day or each week, you can have these scheduled. If so, select the email tab in the top right hand corner. Select if you would like to send the email once or set up a schedule. And you can now fill in the following details. The dashboard you'd like to email through the email address you'd like it to be emailed to, the email subject, when it's repeated and how often. You can confirm the start date and also create an end date if you wish. Finally, select the time you would like the email to be sent and press add. You now have details of all of your scheduled emails and what dashboards are being sent. We'll now go through some other reports. Sales reports. Sales reports can be broken down by time period, location, device and staff member. They can also be broken down further by products and categories, for example. To view your sales report, select sales report tab on the left hand side. Firstly, let's look at time intervals. 
remember, we can show data from various time frames. We'll view today. You can filter by location, by devices, by staff. And here we can also filter by wet and dry if you're a hospitality business. You can now show by the time interval. We'll do this half hourly. Today, this will now show all transactions between a 30 minute interval. Again, you can select the blue header titles to put information in ascending or descending order. The blue row at the bottom of each report is a total. For example, shows you total transactions for today, total refunds, total sales, including tax, and further information scrolling across. As a reminder, all reports when viewed on a PC or laptop can be exported via CSV, Word, Excel or printed. We've covered time intervals. Let's look at time periods. Again, select the date, filter by location, device or staff members, and select your time interval, yearly, quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily or hourly. This will now show you your time periods set as days. Again, totaling all sales information in the blue row. You can also view time comparisons. This is great for viewing different trends. You can set your metric, transaction quantity, refunds, voided, sales, you can choose which information you want to see and for what period. We'll have a look at sales, including tax. The date range, this month, compared to previous month. Here, the first period is set in blue, and the second period, is set in orange. This graph, you can see it shows the correct date compared to the second period last month. You also have information on your first period compared to your second period and any differences. You can view sales by product. We can view today, set our filters. Now we can search by product name or filter by any tags if you've set those when adding your products. Here are today's products that have been processed through the till. The quantity the sale including tax and sale excluding tax. We also have our cost price, total margins and margin percentage. Again, being totaled up in the dark blue row. You can view information on sales by employees, sales by various location, sales on device groups, sales by size, and also miscellaneous products. Remember, miscellaneous products are items we do not track stock for. These are items that perhaps we don't normally sell. You can view that information in miscellaneous products under sales report. For hospitality, you may wish to view reports on wet and dry and how many covers. You can view promotion reports, 
reports on brands, and reports on supplies. These have additional sales factors, sales including tax and excluding tax, and also profit margins. You can break these down even further to show products by scrolling down. You can view reports on customer types and also reporting and till categories. Again, these could be broken down further by showing the products and scrolling down. You may also have multiple choice products within your till. Sales reports, as a reminder, are a breakdown of time periods, locations, devices and staff, and can be broken down for more information on sales reporting, including total sales, including or excluding tax, cost prices, including or excluding tax, and information on profit margins. Do make yourself familiar with your sales reports. These will be really handy for making important business decisions and to view trends. We'll now go on to stock reporting. Stock reporting. We'll now go through some important reports regarding stock values. If you require further information on how to add stock to your products, please do check out our stock management demo. Firstly, let's look under the stock tab at stock levels. These are the current levels of your stock, showing the current stock value and further sales reports. These can be filtered by location, wet and dry, for example, filtered by supplier, and also filtered by category. As a reminder, all reports can be exported via CSV, Word, Excel, or printed. Let's have a look at a few more important reports. Stock warnings. These are products that are under a minimum stock level, and these are items that may be required to be ordered. Stock discrepancies show variances and discrepancies in stock movements and stock takes. Non-selling stock. These are items that have never been sold through your system. You can show data from a specific time frame. Filter again by locations and filter by devices. This is a great report for knowing what stock you sell and do not sell. And finally, stock history. You can view stock levels from a historic date. However, please bear in mind, this is only available for up to one year. You can select the previous date, select the location, and view your historic stock levels. Banking reports. Banking reports will detail any information regarding tenders, end of day, and petty cash reasons. This locate to the banking tab. And firstly, we'll select tenders. You can filter by time frame. And again, locations and devices. This will show you the total tender turnover, splitting up with cards, cash, customer credit, and any integrated card types. We can also view end of day reports from previous days and weeks. This will also show any variances in your end of days. 
you can then break this down into show tenders and also show notes. These will appear at the bottom. You can view your float adjustments, detailing any deposits or withdrawals made to your float through the front till. And finally, petty cash. Remember, petty cash is a reason or a small purchase for the business, such as staff essentials like tea, coffee, stationery, or window cleaner. This will break down and give you a total of your petty cash for the time period selected. Accounting and auditing reports. As a reminder, EPOS now integrates with some great accounting apps, such as Xero, QuickBooks, and Sage. This makes it much easier to sync information across to your platforms. Firstly, let's look at accounting and bookkeeping. Again, you can show data from a certain time frame. And this will show items within a transaction, including the staff member that processed the payment, the location, and also cost and sale information. Under accounting, we also have tax reports, daily tax, monthly tax, quarterly, and end of year tax. Again, all the information can be exported via CSV, Word, Excel, or printed. We also have payroll. Again, process shown data from. And now we have a breakdown of hours worked by each staff member. This is using the clock in clock out function on the main till. Finally, in accounting, we have gross profit. This shows the gross profit for a full year. We can select the previous year. And this is information you can pass on to your accountants or again, using our accounting integrations such as Sage, QuickBooks, or zero. We can now look at auditing reports. We can start with refunds, selecting your time frame, filtering locations, devices and staff, and this will break down all reasons, break down all items, by scrolling down and again gives you a total in the dark blue bars. We can also view your same with discounts and no sale reasons. As a reminder, no sales are reasons for opening the cash drawer without processing a transaction. For example, incorrect change or lost property within the till. Finally, we can view void line reports. Void items are items that have gone into the basket, but then been deleted before the transaction has been processed. That brings us to the end of your reporting demo. Don't forget, if you are a new business with us, you have access to your implementation manager for any further questions. If you're an existing customer, you also have access to our support lines. Thank you for watching.